Hey everybody, so today's video is not going to be your typical Talk Tuesday where I do my makeup while I chat about life because this past week my brain and my life and everything has been consumed with the Mandela effect. I am sure a lot of you have already heard about it, but for those who haven't, I'm going to go over kind of what it is and all the different examples that I have, mainly because I've been telling friends and family because I just, I need someone to talk to it about with, and I figure if I send them this video that I can be like, here, here's what I'm talking about, here's all my examples in one place. I'm going to try and not swear in this video, that is my goal, however, this is your warning here if you have children around watching, I know I'm a mommy channel, this frustrates me so much, so I wouldn't be surprised if I swore. And lastly, I'm not saying I know why this is happening or that you guys need to agree with me. This is just the way I feel and the way I remember things. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so really quickly, what is the Mandela effect? Basically, when Nelson Mandela died, a lot of people, like thousands and thousands of people, had this memory that he already died in prison years prior, um, but he had just died. So why did everybody have the same memory that this man had already died in prison when it wasn't true? Since then there has been a lot of examples of the same thing where like thousands of people remember something one way but it's actually another way. It doesn't quite make sense. There's a lot of theories out there. I'm not really going to go into them because I don't know why it's happening. All I know is in my perspective it's happening. People are thinking maybe it's someone messing with time travel in the future. I know, I know, stick with me. Or like we're going into a parallel universe of some sort. So like I said, I honestly don't know why. All I know is that I remember a lot of these things one way, like distinctly, and they're not. All right, so let's start off with probably one of the most commonly talked about, and that is the book series, the kids' book series, The Bernstein Bears. That's how I remember them being said. I will put the spelling right here. Bernstein, that's just how I remember it, but apparently now it is Bern or Berenstain. That is the way it's always been spelled. If you look back with all of these, by the way, if you go back and you look at all the books that you used to have as a kid or pictures or anything that had that spelling in it, it's all been changed. So that's why it's making people kind of think that they're crazy and maybe we are crazy and it's always been that way. But if it were just this, I'd be like, okay, clearly I just, you know, have been reading it wrong or thought it was wrong in my head the whole time, like no big deal. But there are so, so many more and some of them I'm like, no, that was never that way, like stop it. So I'm gonna start with some of the big ones in my head that are just like, no, no way. There are some here and I have talked to some friends about this um, where I remember it one way, they remember it in another way. So it could just not be an actual like Mandela effect. So I'm gonna kind of go through the list that way. So the one that I truly, like no was a thing, it's the song we are the champions, like I can't sing but that song. At the end of it it says of the world, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like everyone screams out of the world. Apparently that never happened. Like if you go look up on YouTube we are the champions, the song just ends like with no of the world at all and all the comments I was reading them is like where's the ending and it's not just on YouTube it's like all history of this song is no longer has the of the world. So I don't understand how, like do you guys remember of the world? Am I crazy? Everyone I talk to has. Um, so how come everyone remembers this but like no one's spoken out about it? Like I don't know if the band has spoken out about it. I don't even know if they're still alive to be honest. I don't know anything about the band so don't judge me on that. But like why wouldn't, for all of these, why wouldn't the news be reporting on this? Or I don't know, I don't know if it's a government issue but like I feel like <laughs> This is why I'm going crazy. I feel like there are so many people who remember something and if it's just gone, like what? How how can you how can you explain that? Like somebody help me because I can't sleep. Like this is all I think about and they keep coming up with more and more and I'm like, no, like it's not just all of us remembering something the wrong way. Okay, I wanted this to be a quick video, so I'm just gonna run through them, but I have the same feeling about a lot of these. Okay. Mickey Mouse. Picture Mickey Mouse in your head. Think about what he's wearing. The way I remember Mickey Mouse is wearing red shorts. There was like two buttons on it and red suspenders with like, I don't know, his black body or remember that, whatever. That's how I remember Mickey Mouse. But apparently the suspenders never existed. So if you go back recently to way back, there was never under, any suspenders. I don't understand why he'd have those two buttons on the front of his pants there were no suspenders and we all have memories of the suspenders. Again, let me know if you remember the suspender suspenders because I do. Oscar Meyer Wieners. This is how I remember it being spelled. M-E-Y-E-R. I think there's even a little jingle that goes along to it. But apparently it's Oscar Mayer. That's how I would say it. Oscar Mayer Wieners. But it's still Oscar Mayer with an A. Am I wrong here on this one? Okay, the shoe company. These are not all like brand names, although a lot of them are. There is like movies and stuff as well. But 
The shoe company, Skechers. Think about how you would spell Skechers. This is how I would spell Skechers. Apparently, it was never like that way. Never existed. It's spelt like this, without a T. Am I wrong here? I'm gonna say that for all of them, because I'm gonna feel really dumb if everyone else is like, no, there never was a T, but the people I've talked to in, in real life here are like, there was a T, there was definitely a T, like, what the heck? Apparently it never existed. Okay, another cartoon. Actually, there's two of them. One of them I kind of feel like could be a thing, but a lot of people don't remember it that way. This one I don't remember at all. Flintstones. Think about how you would spell Flintstones. This is how I would spell Flintstones. Apparently it's really Flint stones with a T, like a damn T in the middle. Why aren't we calling it Flint stones? Like it doesn't make any sense to me. Does anybody remember it with a T in it? Cause I don't. The other one is Looney Tunes. Apparently a lot of people remember it being spelled this way. I, like I said, I, my memory is kind of foggy when it comes to this one. Apparently it's spelled this way. So tunes such as music, which doesn't really make any sense when you look at the show itself. There's nothing really tune related, but that's the way it's spelled apparently. Okay, for Star Wars fans, I'm not one of them, but I have heard the saying, Luke, I am your father. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard that before. Apparently it was never actually said in the movie. It, he just said, I am your father. There was no Luke involved at all. So I have no memories of this because I didn't actually watch Star Wars, but I know I've heard everyone say, Luke, I am your father. So that seems a little bit odd to me. The Monopoly guy. Picture the Monopoly guy in your head. Just picture what he looks like. He has the top hat, he has a mustache, he has the suit or whatever. Did he have a monocle? You know, one of those like one-eyed monocle things? Cause that's how I remember him and that's how a lot of people remember him, but he doesn't. He apparently never had a monocle. Never existed, never was a thing. We're all just crazy. Okay, pixie sticks. Now I am almost certain they were never ever spelled this way. So think about how you would spell some pixie sticks, little candy sticks. This is how I would spell pixie sticks. Maybe even with an E, I could see that, but not with a Y. Pixie sticks with a Y? Like, does that even look right to you? I just, I can't. I can't even show you my, as much frustration as I have in this video about, like, I don't even know who they are, but they're trying to kid. Whoever they is, whatever happened, there's just, there's no way that all of this changed and that we all have memories of it one way. Like I, like I said, if it was just one thing, I'd be like, okay, we're all, you know, we were all doing it wrong this whole time and thinking about it wrong, but like there's so many and I can go on and on and on. Let me do a couple more and then I'll, I'll link videos. I've watched a lot of videos on this and you can obviously Google it to get way more as well. Okay, Fruit Loops, the cereal. Now I remember it being Fruit Loops, like fruit was spelt out properly. Apparently it has always been Fruit Loops with two O's. Tell me if that's how you remember it or not because a lot of people remember it one way and a lot of people remember it the other way, but in my brain it was the generic brand of Fruit Loops that was spelt with the two O's, like the off brand, and that the actual Fruit Loops was spelt properly and that the two O's were in the, like the two cereal O's were in the loops. So I don't know, let me know about that one. Okay, here's another big one that a lot of people like kind of started this as well, the color chartreuse. I don't know if you remember what the color chartreuse used to be or have an idea in your head of what it was. I remember it as being like a purpley pink type color. A lot of people do, or even like a red type tone. Apparently it's like a piss green, lime green, ugly color, like completely opposite end of the color wheel, lime green color, so news to you if you didn't know what chartreuse is it is now lime green this one's good <laughs> should have said this one at the beginning of the video this song deck the halls like deck the halls with boughs of holly or you know i can't sing it was never deck the halls like were we all just singing it wrong our whole life it was deck the hall h-a-l-l -L, not plural deck the hall with boughs of holly it just sounds so wrong to me look it up it's deck the hall okay the last one i'll leave you with is the mona lisa now Picture the Mona Lisa in your head. If you don't know what she looks like, then you're not gonna be able to tell with this one, but she always had a very straight face and people would say she had like a slight smirk to her, but it was very undetectable, like a slight, slight smile. This is what the Mona Lisa looks like now. And to me, that is not a slight smile. Like she's legit grinning. Like it's a little grin, but, but she's grinning. Did she always look like this? Are we all just crazy? Can someone help me out here? All right, so there you go. Like I said, there are so many more examples. I really just wanted to put this video together so I could have it all in one place so I could send it to people and be like, what is happening? Do you remember the stuff this way? Am I crazy? So far, the people I've talked to, 
Everybody believes most of what I'm saying, well not believes, remembers it the other way, except for my sister. She's like, nope, I think that everybody just remembers everything wrong. Which I get to a point. I think some of these people just started saying it wrong or spelling it wrong and then everyone continued it on that way. But I don't think that's the case for everything and why is it all happening at once? So I don't know. I just wish I had more answers. I don't understand why we're not hearing about it, like I said, on the news or government. I don't know how it works. I just... I think it's such a big deal, especially that like this many people are noticing the change. So I want to put this video up there. Feel free to chat with me in the comments. I would love to know what you think. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.